More pain at the pump seems entirely possible now as the Ohio House passes a hike to the state gas tax. And although it's much less than what Governor Mike DeWine proposed last month, it will still have a major financial impact for people whose cars are their offices. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg live right now in Brook Park. So Jordan, how big of a tax hike are we talking here? Well, under the current proposal, the gas tax hike is around 10.7 cents per gallon. That's on top of the state's existing gas tax. And the state's existing gas tax hasn't been changed since flip phones were a thing all the way back in 2005. And if you ask some drivers who drive for a living, they'll tell you they want to keep it that way. In case you didn't know what he does, look no further than his license plate. A full-time Uber driver. Like the airport he services. John Booth's day is full of arrivals and departures. I probably average anywhere from, from about 125 to, to 150,000 miles a year. <laughs> it's a lot of miles. An extreme case, sure, but an example nonetheless of the impact of proposed legislation that would increase the state's so-called gas tax. That's going to affect me a lot. You know, it's almost $1,000 more a year I'm going to pay on fuel. And, you know, it raises the interesting question, what about some, somebody that doesn't drive that much? Proponents argue the tax hike makes sense. If you use more, you should pay more. The current proposal would hike prices by 10.7 cents per gallon on top of the existing tax of 28 cents per gallon. It's a 40% reduction over what was originally proposed back in February. To be split on the state and local level, the gas tax revenue would fund new roads and pay to repair existing ones. But for Booth, it will make his margins even more razor thin. When gas jumps 40 cents a gallon, that's another 50 bucks a week I spend. So when it was up around 260 a gallon, full for the year, I was going to spend anywhere from 13 to 15,000 on fuel alone. Booth has to eat that cost. The proposed gas tax hike comes as Uber recently made cuts to its rates, meaning drivers like him make less. I'm being paid to drive, but that doesn't recoup my fuel cost. Unless, you know, Uber, Lyft raised the rates because of it, and that's going to upset everybody else because everything else is going up. His day is like a busy terminal with arrivals and departures. Remember to tip your drivers because it might be more expensive to be one. It's just going to push me to get a hybrid even more. Well, speaking of hybrids, they won't come out of this unscathed either. The registration free fees for hybrids will go up to $200. The bill now moves to the Senate. Reporting live in Brook Park, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.